Early access provided by EA Fire Monkeys, presented by EA Creator Network. In this video, I'm going to take you on a tour of the Homely Heights house template you unlock if you manage to complete the Zest Zone on the Commercial Court Sim Springs event, house number three. This house is an extra large house lot, so you can only build it in Sim Springs on the extra large house lots. You will not be able to build it in Sim Town. This house lot consists of four houses or apartments and then at the back of the lot we have some communal areas. I think this is quite exciting actually because we don't usually get more than one house on a lot pre-built into the game. I mean people build them themselves but I don't think I've ever seen one unless it was like a hotel or something. But that's not the same because these are separate houses. So it'll be quite interesting to see the layouts and stuff going on inside to see if they're all the same or whether they are different. So we're going to look at these one house at a time, so we're going to start with this house at the front here, on the left hand side. We have a front door that leads into a large open plan living area, kitchen and dining room. Feels to me like this is a rented accommodation. I've had a little sneak peek at the one next door and it looks pretty much the same so it looks like they're all rented out by the same company person. But this is a nice sized room, plenty of space here. There's one other room down here which is the bathroom. Nice size bathroom, a very large shower and it also has a bath a toilet and a double sink. There's another door here that leads out to a garden area, a little enclosed space. This one's got planters in it. So that's the downstairs of this house, apartment, and we're going to head upstairs now. So this is the main living area of the house. We have a nice large living area, TV unit, which looks like it's the same as the one in the other. But the bookcase is different, so I do have a few little personal touches it seems, but most of the main furniture seems to be the same and there's also two bedrooms up here as well no personality with the walls but you kind of expect that from a rented accommodation you can't always change the color of the walls but the two bedrooms are a really good size Now I'm going to take a look at the house behind this one. So I've already noticed that they are pretty similar but I've also noticed some differences as well. So again we have the front door that leads into the seating area, the open plan, living room, kitchen. But there are some differences. If you've noticed this one has rugs in it. There's a few rugs in this room. There's a rug in the bathroom. So they've added their own little touches to make it more like home. And I like that. I like that they're the same because that makes sense. But I also like that there are some differences as well. So their little garden area contains a hot tub and some recliners. 
Again, I like that all their gardens are different. I'm not sure I'm going to really need to talk you through the upstairs of this house. Let's head over to the right hand side now and take a look at these two. And again, they are the same, but with some slight differences. So you, you may have noticed that some of the items on the dining tables and worktops are different between the houses. This one, they seem to like books. There's a lot of books, if you've noticed, piled up on different surfaces around this house. And then let's take a look at the final house on this lot. Oh, this one's got plants and candles on the different surfaces. This outside area has fake grass and it's got a hammock and a recliner. The thing I think that they've got wrong on the outside areas is that the surface should be the same so they should all be like fake grass or all be tiled. That's not something that you would change yourself. Well there's a lot of artwork on the walls in this house. That's definitely a new addition. Those are all four of the houses, so we're going to take a quick look at those from above before we look at the rest of this lot. The back of the house lot is where the communal areas are, so there's a pool and spa for everyone to use. You've also got this extra building here, which has a communal dining room. A bit strange, but I suppose if you're having a barbecue, 
using the items outside, you don't want to carry your barbecue food all the way back to your house, you can use that table there, if the weather's not good to sit outside. And next door we have a laundry room, just where everyone could do all their laundry, which I think is a great idea. And the final room is a toilet. There's a shower in here too, so they can use the facilities when they're using the pool or they're around that area. Saves them having to go all the way back to their house. So I really think this whole lot works really well together. And I do think it was quite fascinating to see the little changes between all the houses. Well, I thought it was fascinating. You may think it's completely boring. <laughs> That was my tour of the Homely Heights house on the Sims Free Play. You can only unlock this house template if you manage to complete the Sim Springs commercial court event house number three. Check out my walkthrough video on that for more information and also you'll be able to find the post on my blog, the girlgames.blog. The link is in the description of this video. The last one is the big one, it's the community lot, the Grand Springs Hotel. So click on the link in this video to check that one out. Thanks for watching. Bye.